so are you good with exact? And he's like, what is exact? And I was like, okay. I was like, this is, this is going to be a problem. I said, do you have a shingle gauge, uh, a pitch gauge? Do you have, and I was just listing some information. He's like, I have none of that. He's like, I have a ladder. And they told me that I could, and he deployed, believe it or not, he deployed. Uh, and within two days of him, two or three days of deploying, he texted me. He's like, I'm out of here. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. You know, a lot of people have questions about what school they should go to, if they should go to it. Like, it, I'm like, if you do nothing else, pay for training, whether it's, you know, it's a smaller school or like the, the Harvard of the, you know, yeah. independent adjusting world. It It is, and let me give you an example. So, I have two guys uh, that they're some of my best friend's sons, right? And they they kind of been asking me for a couple of years to to train them. Um, I was trying to get them just to go to a school, right? Go to, go to Voss, go to you know Mile High, go to MoCat, go go to these one of these other schools, learn the basics um, in their in their shorter course, um, and then come back and I'll, and I'll, I'll finish up the rest, right? We'll, we'll get you there, but <clears throat> excuse me. It didn't, it didn't really work out that way. So I ended up personally training them. Right. And I started training the one, I, I want to say it was probably May, beginning of May. And <clears throat> we're at the end now of, of both of their trainings and that, but it's been several months. And wow. even right now with them every day, coming here every day. Uh, I take him out on inspections every day. One of them will sit here at the desk and he's doing things here at the desk. The other one will be out with me, but this has been going on for many months now and they still kind of irritate me, right? Because they've seen everything I do. We're doing it and they're, they're probably 90% there. They, they could go run claims easy right now. And then some of them, they already actually are, but, but I put in months and months every day, every day. So this is with me personally mentoring them, teaching them, guiding them, got their equipment for them, right? They're pretty set up. But I think back, I was just having a conversation the other day with uh, some adjusters I talked to probably three or four times a week. And I was just like, I don't know how um, people come into this industry and and just try to OJT or just, just try to get some claims and figure it out. Like it blows my mind because even when I left Voss with all that education, I still felt like I wasn't ready. Right. I'm not, I'm not ready. Like I, but I was way ahead of, of people that had already been doing this years. I just didn't know it. And so I would say any type of education that you can get your hands on uh, coming into this industry is, is vital. Right. Um, yeah. I see a lot of the Facebook groups. I, I'm, I'm monitoring that stuff all the time. And I see a lot of guys and girls who will come in and say, I just got my license, uh, you know, as who knows who's hiring and immediately like 500 questions go through my, like, okay, what other, what else do you have besides the light? Like, do you know exactly? Me? Do you know symbility? Do you, do you have a ladder? Do you have a, do you a pitch gauge, a shingle gauge? Do you like all these things? Right. And, and it, it kind of blows me away because I'm like, you know, I, how is this person going to make it through it? So education is, is crucial, no matter how you can get it. If you can get it on YouTube videos, uh, uh, it, the free courses, if you can pay for a school, a, a smaller school or, or anything, if you can get anything, you're going to set your, set yourself up for success. Um, two, I don't know, let's just 23. So 2019, I'll just give you a quick story. I had a guy, I know a guy, uh, we were in the army together and he was posting on Facebook, um, that he, he became an insurance adjuster. Now I had been doing it about a year and a half at this point. Um, I forget which hurricane it was, but actually, I think it was Michael and Florence. I think it was 2018 maybe, but, um, he, he was like, I'm deploying. I just got my Texas license and I'm deploying. And I, I text him. 
And I said, hey, man, when did you get into this? He's like, oh, I got some friends that are doing it. And they told me this was going to be a great gig. I can make a lot of money. The, the whole the whole spiel. And uh, so I'm like, okay, so he had just got his license, like literally probably two days earlier. And he's like, I've already, he's like, I'm already on with a, with a firm and they're sending me claims. They're going to send me claims. And I said, okay, cool, man. Like what, uh, like, so are you good with exact? And he's like, what is exact? And I was like, okay. I was like, this is, this is going to be a problem. And I said, do you have a shingle gauge, uh, a pitch gauge do you have? And I was just listing some information. He's like, I have none of that. He's like, I have a ladder. And they told me that I could, and he deployed, believe it or not, he deployed. Uh, and within two days of him, two or three days of deploying, he texts me. He's like, I'm out of here. He's like, because I don't, he's like, I, he's like, basically I was told you could just go take some pictures, put, put some, you know, they'd walk me through some stuff. And I'm like, man. So when, when I see these guys on the Facebook group and all this stuff, I'm just, I think, I think of that guy, right. I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys. So um, I'm a big advocate of, of any kind of training. And I know, I know you guys do training there and, and there's, and there's, there's physical schools, but any kind of training, like, and, and if I had to give you just a few things that are, are a must in training, one, you have to know Xactimate or SimBuilding. You, you have to know one of them. Uh, and, and you got to be enough to turn it on, know what you're doing, kind of figure it out. Um, but two, you you also have to know what you're supposed to do on the claim, right? You have to know what you're looking for. You have to know how to write for that damage. You have to know a, a bunch of these things. And so, uh, you know, any kind of education that you can get uh, is is going to be a must. Just getting your license and hoping you can get employed by a, a carrier or an IA firm and hoping they're going to train you. Some of them do do that, but it's very slim, right? It's very slim. Yeah. So any kind of education you get or get your hands on, I would highly recommend. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.